Alright, so it's time for Tyrannical Asshole Mode to engage. And uh, we're going to raise up all of our men and all the men we can of our levy or vassals. And we're coming to this place. My wife, oh no. She's pretty good, I liked her. Um, you look fine. So you'd probably be better. No respect people's wealth. just greedy hmm oh yay both my videos are up alright so now tyrannical asshole mode in prison actually first now yeah we'll just I need to keep training troops, so we're gonna imprison you. Aha, uh -huh, sweet. And we're banishing you. So, now, you, sir, revoke your title? Yes. Revoke your title? Yes. Revoke your title? Yes. Revoke your title? Maybe, ooh. Revoke your title, maybe. Revoke your title, again, yeah, maybe. Yes. Now we find out. Alright, now we own everything. And now we see if there's anyone in our court who is of our religion and our culture who doesn't think I'm a tyrannical asshole or who doesn't think I'm enough of a tyrannical asshole because uh, if there is we'll just go and buy people <laughs> that sounds terrible but yes we will go buy people not in prison, any married, not a ruler uh... not a great house, adult yes and do by stewardship so... you my friend I'm going to grant you a Kia. Are you ambitious or something? Or you just really hate me? You just really hate me, okay. And the duchy of a Kia and all everything else below. There you go. You love me. Alright, that's one duke down. And now you sir ah uh, no, I'm gonna go for someone who's a little more balanced, like you. I'm going to give you Athens. Athenia. Still gonna hate me. And I'm gonna give you the Duchy of Athens and all below. Now you love me. Alright. And another dude who's kind of balanced. So we're gonna give you Thessalia. Oh, you're gonna love me. Got you this. There we go. Ah, see? You can go, uh, douchey tyrant mode and still go out and get out ahead. And now, if we go elective succession, which we will definitely be doing and be voting our quick kid in, elective succession. I'm going to nominate a quick son. I'm pretty sure only kings actually get to vote in that. So they might not be able to have any votes. Alright, now let's see. Ha <laughs> ha! We are powerful. Alright. Now we're going to do ca single county conquests so that we can take things and not have to worry about them. So we're going to do a conquest of this. And we're going to raise up all the men, get them here, 
hope that the Byzantines don't join. Maximum fuel levies is always nice. He's diligent, sweet. Alright. We're losing money, aren't we? Ooh, we're losing a lot of money. Bribe him, yeah. Alright, so, you're fine. What is this? That one. Oh, you're still gonna hate me because of the whole, like, me being a tyrant thing, but we can just, like, fix you up a little bit. Oh, we don't want to be a tree breaker. We're better than that. Could claim Epirus, or we're gonna do a do a conquest of that. I'm also gonna save real quick. Cause I'm afraid like the Byzantines are gonna just like jump in and wreck shit. Let's actually check. Do we have any other people who can vote? Or is it just me? Oh, no, yeah, my high chiefs can vote. Ooh, what are we missing? Ooh, we're missing some important people. You collect taxes there. You improve relations with this dude. Oh, wow, they're not happy. They're really not happy. Oh, those mayors aren't happy. I don't really care about them. Screw the mayors. All they do is demand lower taxes. Which makes sense, but... Shit! Jesus! Wow, okay, so <laughs> Epirus has a couple friends in this war. Mainly the King of Hungary. Um, so we just lost our entire levy. But if we re raise, we can still go siege. But that's going to be hurtful because we could get attacked now. And we just went from being like super powerful to going to get crush mode. But as long as we just like go here, make sure we have no leaders, and take the objective, I think we'll be fine. What is this? Is this the... Huh. No, we're not going to double a mob.
I like how that counts for nothing, literally. Cool, my court's getting converted. I really couldn't care less. <laughs> oh. Oh yay, Mongols! Everyone loves them. Who doesn't love the Mongols? Idiots, that's who. Would have been nice if I was checking to. I, I really should make it like an actual pop up saying, like, oh, hey, this dude's joined the war against you. Be careful, he will wreck your shit. Who's the slow one? Alright, uh, you, sir, are gonna get educated by him. I don't understand how passing off my slow child to my, uh... No, my strategy goes... I'm gonna lose this war. Because this guy just keeps coming. And trying to, like, juke me out. trade that's fine finally whoo Alright, we're gonna take the rest of this. And we might go hide and like disband. Ooh. Prisoners? Oh, I probably shouldn't have sold her. She's bad. I bet she's worth war score. Oh, no, she wasn't. This is where I wish this game also had like war enthusiasm like in EU4 because I mean I'm pretty sure they would be giving up right now if this host was also taking over. I actually hope this host takes over because what will happen is he'll no longer, I mean I'll have to fight the host which will suck but Hungary will no longer be involved because the host will um inherit the war and uh, when they inherit the war they uh, they won't be allies with uh, Hungary because it's a totally different dynasty and everything hey wait make me a Scala 
Oh yes, become zealous. I will become a scholar. Reading them books. In my edumacations. Yeah, patient. Haha. -ha. Venice is declared war. That's bad. Jesus. A lot of men they got there. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. All right, one sec.